Your child has just been diagnosed with diabetes. You probably have many questions and concerns. We will be discussing the diagnosis of diabetes in this video with an explanation of the difference between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Diabetes is a disease in which the body does not produce or properly use insulin. Insulin is a hormone made by the pancreas that the body uses to convert the food that you eat into energy needed for daily life. Let's take a closer look at how insulin works. When you eat, your body breaks down food into sugar. Sugar is used as a source of energy by your body. Sugar travels through the bloodstream to reach all the cells in your body. Sensing that you have eaten, your pancreas releases insulin. Insulin takes the sugar from the blood into your body's cells to be used for energy. This energy supports all of your body's functions needed to stay alive. Type 1 diabetes is a disease in which the body does not make insulin. Type 1 diabetes accounts for 5 to 10 percent of all cases of diabetes. It is usually diagnosed in children and young adults and lasts for the person's whole life. People with type 1 diabetes take insulin daily. They also need to keep their blood sugar in a target range by balancing insulin with a meal plan and exercise. Type 2 diabetes accounts for 90 to 95 percent of all cases of diabetes and most often occurs in middle-aged or older adults. People with type 2 diabetes manage their diabetes by using a meal plan, being active, and taking diabetes medicines if needed. Working with their health care team, all people with diabetes can develop a treatment plan that works for them. To summarize, type 1, juvenile onset or insulin dependent. The body does not make insulin and it needs to be replaced via insulin injections. Insulin cannot be taken as a pill as it is digested by stomach acids. Type 2 diabetes or adult onset the most common form of diabetes found in adults. The body makes a normal or sometimes high level of insulin. However, it cannot be used well, as the body is resistant to the insulin. In certain cases of type 2 diabetes, insulin is required at diagnosis to bring down blood sugars. Your doctor will discuss the final diagnosis with you at your clinic visit. Sometimes, patients can be transitioned to medications other than insulin if enough lifestyle changes are made. You will meet many people during your hospital stay. Taking care of diabetes requires team effort. Your attending physician is a pediatrician. Every member of the team is important as we teach you the needed skills to take care of diabetes at home. My name is Kelly and my son Tylan has type 1 diabetes. Tylan was 11 years old when he was diagnosed and um, we first thought that he had type 2 diabetes and so we went to our family doctor who referred us to Children's. When we came to Children's they ran some tests and we found out that he had type 1 diabetes. And initially um, it's real hard news to hear. Um, you, a lot goes through your head, you're wondering why, what happened, what caused it. Um, and it's, it's a lot to take in in a little time, but the education that we got at Children's and the, um, the discussions and all that we had with the doctors and nurses really put us at ease and um, set us on our way to um, helping him deal, deal with it. Um, at first, when he was diagnosed with type 1, we um, were real concerned about, you know, could we have kept this from happening? What did we do? Why did it happen to us? And the doctors and nurses were really good um, to let us know that there, this was an autoimmune disease. It was not anything that we did. There was nothing we could do to prevent it. And, um, and that, that does help. It helps you feel a little bit better about things to know that it wasn't 
uh, anything that we consciously did on our part to, to cause him this. Parents of, of children who are diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, you will find very quickly that you will adjust to this, it will be fine, and you get to a place where, just like you would not leave the house without shoes and socks, you don't leave without the things that are necessary, the, the meter and the 15 carb snacks, all those things. It just becomes a part of your life, and because some, it becomes something that you can deal with very, very manageably, just like um, any other thing that you would need to take care of in your daily life. It, uh, life will return to normal, life will be okay, your children will thrive, they will do fine, and, um, and it's all going to be alright. Um, my son Zane has type 1 diabetes, and we found that out by, um, uh, he had a few days feeling, feeling bad. We had a doctor's appointment and we found out he had type 1 diabetes. When, uh, when they told us that he had diabetes, that, that my son had diabetes, <sighs> I was terrified um, not knowing, you know, you hear things, what people tell you about it and not knowing anything about it, it uh, it's like, what, do I, what am I going to do? Of course, I was very overwhelmed with it, and not knowing how to handle it or what to do with it, uh, it, uh, it did get better once I learned how to deal with it. What I've learned about diabetes is that it's when your body, your pancreas, stops providing insulin to your system to convert the sugars to energy. Um, and, and then so the artificial insulin or a secondary insulin is involved to uh, allow the sugars to cr uh, convert to energy and uh, create a normal system. If you're seeing this video and you're newly diagnosed, you're probably at Arkansas Children's Hospital. Everything you need will be provided from uh, support, uh, information, education, everything you need will be given to you here and it will work out. Everything will be okay. This is Ada and she is 13 months old and she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes just uh, right before she was 10 months old. So at nine months old, she was diagnosed on May 6th, 2009. Uh, taking care of a, well now she's one, a one year old with type one diabetes is a constant struggle and battle and every day is different. Um, just because her eating habits change constantly this food that she wants to eat or the food that she will eat is changing constantly. Um, her level of activity is different, so it is definitely something that I have to stay on top of, you know, every hour of every day or every minute of every day, really, just sort of watching her and keeping track of what she's eating and what she's doing and, um, you know, just making sure that I'm doing the right thing for what she's doing. And it changes probably, you know, as soon as I feel like I have a good handle on everything, and as soon as I feel like um, we are stable, then, you know, she'll get a cold and her blood sugar shoots through the roof or something. So I think um, with kids in general, but especially babies, it's a major roller coaster. And some days it's great, and some days it's scary, and most days it's just a little bit nuts. Something that helped us out when Ada was first diagnosed was meeting with people in the hospital. The diabetes educators were really helpful and understanding and, um, you know, talked on our level, especially my husband is a doctor, but I don't know anything about medicine, and so it was really helpful just to have it explained to me in, you know, regular people terms. Uh, hey, I'm Zane Brewer and I have type 1 diabetes. Uh, 
well, just kind of depending on where my blood sugar is at at a moment. Like sometimes I'll be low and I'll feel really tired and just overall, I kind of, I mean, it didn't bother me that much, but uh, sometimes I'm angry, sometimes I'm really depressed about it. I mean, but overall, it's, it's not that bad. Um, in my free time, I like to play guitar. And with me having to prick my fingers to check my blood sugar, it, at first, it was really hard to continue to play. But after a while, I started, you know, my fingers got tougher. It, and, it, you know, it just, I could play without even noticing. I just kind of, you know, forgot about it. And that's, that's you know, it's just, it's pretty much the same. My name is Victoria, I'm 14 years old, and I'm a type 1 diabetic. With diabetes, I can do whatever I want, but I have to be a little bit more careful whenever I do it. I have to make sure that my blood sugar doesn't go too low or doesn't go too high whenever I'm doing exercise and other activities. Well, at school, I have classes like everybody else, and I eat lunch with all of my friends. Um, diabetes doesn't do anything to stop any of that. I can do what everybody else does. I like to hang out with my friends and read, and I especially like sketching designs. My name's Shelby. And my name's Lauren. And, and we, we have, have type 1 diabetes. Having diabetes doesn't affect my life as much as I thought it would. I hang out with my friends. I take track. I go to school. Uh, the only thing I need to do is make sure I'm aware of how I feel and that my blood sugar is all right and that I always have my meter with me. Dancing is a lot of fun for me. Um, I take dancing every year and diabetes doesn't really affect it. I just have to make sure I take my blood sugar before and after I do an activity and make sure I'm okay. Uh, every school year I try out for track and when I get on the team it's the same as if I didn't have diabetes. I just take my blood sugar and I try to win. Taking my blood sugar is really easy. Um, I just get out my meter and make sure it's fully stocked with alcohol swabs, lancets, and meter test strips. I put my test strip in and make sure I wipe my finger with an alcohol swab before pricking. And I put the blood on my meter test strips. In a matter of seconds, my blood sugar comes up to let me know my blood sugar. Going to the doctor's office for an appointment is the same as it would to get a checkup. They ask if you're okay, they get your weight temp, they check your blood sugar and your blood pressure. Um, they ask if you're having problems at school or if you have any questions about diabetes. And they tell you what your A1C is and tell you uh, that you're doing good or if you have any problems, they give you information that will help you with your diabetes. Uh, going to school with diabetes is good and because I have a sister with diabetes uh, we know if we have a question we can go to our sister or call our parents and after that we just go back to our class and do what we normally do. School for me is easy. Um, math is probably my favorite subject. Um, checking my blood sugar in class is easy. Um, I just make sure that my friends know that I have diabetes and they know what to do if I'm acting weird and that my teacher knows um, that I have diabetes and I can take my blood sugar when I feel like I need to or before lunch and I can go to the nurse if I ask my teacher if it's okay with her. Hi, my name is Tylen and I have type 1 diabetes. I'm in ninth grade and having diabetes doesn't really change anything about school. I just go to all my classes like usual and if there's a problem I keep a meter in my bag or I can go to the nurse because she has an extra meter and like blood sugar stuff in case I go low. I get to eat basically the same things that all my friends and that my family gets to eat. The only difference is I have to eat it in moderation or stick with the recommended amounts and I can't just eat tons of carbs like in a milkshake. An insulin pump keeps me from having to pull out my kit and take multiple shots every day. This way I can just kind of look down, press a couple of buttons, and it's done a lot faster and I can get back to whatever I've been doing. Some of my hobbies are to play soccer and play football and just have fun with my friends and to play guitar. Diabetes doesn't really limit me from being able to do what my favorite hobbies are. Usually I just might have to take a minute or two out of my time to 
go check my blood sugar, maybe eat a snack or take some insulin, but other than that, I get to stick with whatever I've been doing.